What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at this broken multimeter that was given to me for a repair. It's a rather cheap model and probably 10 years old, but I like to give new life to old things instead of just throwing them away. After opening the case, the first thing I notice is a popped fuse. In my opinion, at my current state of knowledge, I think a popped fuse gives hope that the protection actually worked and prevented the circuit from taking more damage. It could very well be that someone measured current with the wrong terminals, which in this case is just fused at 200 milliamps. At least that's what it says on the front. After close inspection, I found that the fuse is rated for 250 milliamps, so I ordered a new one with my next parts delivery. In the meantime, let's take a closer look at the battery, which obviously died. You can immediately see that there's something going on in one of the terminals, with clear signs of corrosion. While taking it out, the connector ripped off, so I need to add that to my shopping list as well. A few days later, the parts arrived. Let's dive in. Well, it seems to work again, but there's one tiny little problem. There's an offset which is not a constant. And even if it was, you'd always need to calculate, which is kind of annoying to say the least. So yeah, if any of you know how to calibrate a digital multimeter, let me know in the comments. 
I'm still happy though that I got a sort of working, I mean that's something I guess. But if you'd like to see some repairs with better results, make sure to check out the Repairworks playlist. I see you in the next video, bye!